Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Tom back here with another video. In this video today, we're going to be doing a Pink Diamond Dan Issel exchange reward gameplay. Shout out to Joe P for letting me hop on his account to do this game. But if you are new to my account and have not yet, please smash that subscribe button as we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. So you guys might be wondering, how do you get Dan Issel? So really, oh, I can't even look because I guess once you get it done, you can't look. But I think it's like three pink diamond original owners i don't know there's a lot to do but if you have any extra at richard jefferson stuff like that then dan Issel isn't that hard to obtain but 6'9 243 pounds 89 three with the coach or, or with the shoe 88 driving dunk ball handle isn't going to be there for dan Issel. so that's something you got to know going into that is that dan Issel is not going to be able to handle the ball defensively 88 block 86 interior 80 perimeter rebounding wise is very very good only comes with an 80 speed as well as that 80 lateral quickness so if you run one whether you should run Dan Issel at the, at the center or the power forward I would probably recommend the center position so that's kind of the adjustment I'm going to make just because of his speed more than anything so looking at the tendencies here for Issel 95 driving dunk tendency hopping on down to the defensive tendencies which are pretty serviceable across the board badge wise 40 total badges I want to kind of check and see what badges have been added no badges have been added to Dan Issel so this is his base card here Hall of Fame catch and shoot quarter specialist relentless finisher intimidator moving truck rebound chase or warm contact finisher giant slayer as well as hall of fame brick wall so some very good hall of fame badges gold badges including break starter pickpocket rim protector pick dodger clamps box defensive leader heart crusher tyler's defender pick and roller showtime flexible release hot start and range extender as well as tyler shooter and volume shooter now the badges he doesn't have that i would apply maybe chase on artist interceptor Badges like that, post move lockdown is another one, uh, and quick first step. Those are probably the main ones that I would look to apply. We'll see what his hot spots are like, are like, uh, and whether hot zone hunter is a necessity for this Dan Isso card. Looking at Dan Isso here, the first thing I wanted to kind of note are the hot spots. So he does have hot spots from four to five place around the perimeter, which is kind of a big W, right? I didn't know how many hot spots they would give him, and that's the first thing I did notice is I like the hot spots speed wise. His speed with ball isn't bad. It's just the fact that he can't really handle the ball, so he's going to move pretty slow with the ball. And that's the thing. You're not, you're not going to want to use Dan Isso as like a primary ball handler. That's just not something that is going to work very well for you. But I do kind of like his release. His release is super, super quick. I feel like it's going to be pretty easy to time as well. So something just to kind of take into consideration is the fact that I personally definitely would apply Hot Zone Hunter to the card uh, just because he does have hot spots from everywhere. So I think that's going to help him out greatly, especially when you're talking about greening shots and stuff stuff like that and so right now i'm i'm kind of struggling greening with the car which i don't know why he has a smooth release i should be greening way more consistently than i have been there we go finally got his stroke down and, and we're starting to see the green lights pop up and so that's something that you love to see the only other thing is i need to see is whether he gets showtime dunks or not and it looks like based on that that he probably does now obviously i still want to see something yes he does get showtime dunks, so that's a big time w as well now obviously you're not going to want to dribble too much with this dan Isso card but when you compare dan Isso to some of the other top centers in the game i think he's kind of a mix right because he can't really play make that much but he's a lot better than a guy like dave cowens so yeah, i just think he's kind of an upgraded version of dave cowens because he can shoot the ball better and it's just a little bit better overall on the offensive end obviously you lose a little bit on the defensive end but that's just kind of the best comparison right now that i think i can draw to this card here in Dan Issel. Hopping into a game here, we're up against Baron Davis, Cam Reddish, JB, Richard Jefferson, and Dave Cowens. So he's got a very solid team. It's going to be interesting to see the Dan Issel, Dave Cowens kind of matchup. Yes, sir. Let's go crazy. Where's Dan Issel? I need to get him involved in a pick and pop early and often. Oh, yeah. Chill. Why are my icons like stuck? All right, come on. And I will say, I do like the fact that one, one of the biggest things about Dan Issel that I like is the Hall of Fame brick wall. I know. I just, I like that idea of having that. Especially with, you know, point guards that can move around screens and shoot the ball. I, I just, I like that whole dynamic that it does bring. I get a full on the first possession with Dan Isso. You hate to see it. I just think he's going to be more suited at that center position. And so that's why I'm going to play him in center. And we'll just see. Look at Isso on the first possession of the game. Blocking it off the backboard. That's, that's, that's great energy right there from Dan Isso. Hold up. Come here. Send me a screen. Hey, yes, sir. Way back to Dan. You know what time it is. Ah, oh, man. His release is just so quick. You just got to be ready to let that thing go. The biggest question for Dan Issel is, will I be able to green consistently with him? Because after that, you know, everything else is going to come. Like, it's just going to come. If he can green consistently, he's going to be a good in the pick and roll. He's good enough on defense. So if I can green consistently with the card, I bet I'm going to like the card overall. We got to get better at getting stops, though. Wait, what happened to his man, Dave Cowens? Why is this bum in the game? Why is he a Vlade Divac in the game? 
that's the thing his release is so quick i'm slightly late on almost every single release right now because of how quick it is come here dan oh yeah send me a big one yes sir look at the hall of fame bro he's just playing his drop coverage like can dan esso please make him pay right green slightly late again how quick do i gotta release this thing right as you tap the button which is kind of difficult to do board can y'all grab me a board thank you dan run uh oh get the ball out of your hands oh yeah hey mm, that's a bad shot see i'm just forcing a little bit too much with dan i feel like shooting wise all right we we gotta figure this out this has been an awful start for me like it's been awful dan is is doing his thing clearing the glass but i gotta get I got to get more comfortable. Just take the... What am I doing? Just take the dunk, Ty. You're making things way too hard on yourself. Yes, you got a three right there. But I made things way too hard on myself. That was just an awful unlimited game. That was a very rough unlimited game. We need to hop into another one because that was just awful. I need I need something better from Dan Issel. Looking at my opponent here, he has Derek Rose, Tracy McGrady, Paul George, Aaron Gordon, and has Wilt Chamberlain. So the Wilt Dan Issel chat, like, that's a big challenge for Dan Issel. Let's go, man. I'm super, super excited to use Dan Issel, especially up against Wilt Chamberlain. I feel like this matchup is going to be one that's very, very intriguing. So, obviously, I'm I'm, I'm a little skeptical of Dan Issel after that first little, little gameplay right there. Please, you have to show me consistently with Wilt Chamberlain that you can green. Oh, yeah, Dan. Oh, yeah, Dan. That's what I'm talking about right there. I don't need no help. You can hold your own against Wilt. Good defense, my boy. That's what I'm talking about, Dan So Go and get me a stop on the first special of the game. Come here. Come here. Come here. Show me that half brick wall. Back to him. Come on, Dan. Give me one. That's late, too. It's so hard to green his release because of how quick it is. I don't know how I'm ever going to be able to figure it out. Get back in the fan. Good. Great. 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 Look at Dan Issa sitting. Hey. What up? Showtime, Dan. Yes, sir. Showtime slam. He is absolutely saucing on Wilt so far in this game. That's my steal, too. Chill. Patience. Just don't get ripped. I know you can't handle the ball, really. So just don't get ripped for me. Oh, back to him. Back to the big fella. That should be green. I promise you. Slightly early. That's fine. I'm fine with seeing slightly early for the first time. Dr. J, give me a green. I need a green from y'all. Look at Big Dan. Easy rebound and put back. That's what you love to see. He's pausing me. I know he's upset right now. Oh, yes, sir. Dan sets the biggest bodies. That's just good. Wow. That was good defense, too. JB, yes, sir. You love to see it. Show Tommy Dan. Show Tommy Dan. You love to see Dan is so getting involved like this. Throw it. That's fine. Shoot it. Yep, shoot it. My board. You know whose board it is. Patience. Come here. You got who on who? You got who on who? You got who on who? Barbecue chicken alert. Come on, 2K. Be better. And one. Good take, Dan. Let's see what kind of free throw release he's working with. Oh, my. That is quick. I got to get used to that. Everything Dan Issel does is quick. His release is quick. His free throw release is quick. Like, can you just slow down a little bit? Like, I don't want to I don't want to say slow down because I want it to be quick. But my, oh, my. You're moving and grooving, Dan. Watch this bait. Great defense. Great. Or some corner. Or some corner. Oh, yeah, good defense. Great defense. Great defense. Look at Dan. Up to Dr. J. Hey, you know he's got show at time and takeover. You know what I'm doing with that. Back to Dan. Toasty. Easy slam for Dan. I'm loving the way he's moving. Uh-oh. Look at Wade punch it. Chill. Get it out of Dan's hands. Don't leave JB. Don't leave JB. Don't. Oh, man. I thought he was going to leave him. It's too easy for Dan. It's too easy. You better get a big body on him. Otherwise, he is going to eat you up inside. That's me. Thank you. Where's Dan? I need Dan to run with me. I want. I want you to set a big body. That's fine. Give me one. Give me one. Early again? That's fine. I'm fine with shooting earlies once in a while because I had been slightly late all the time with him. Come on, Dan. Ah! There it is. Finally, I get a green light with Dan Issel in the pick and pop. 
That's the one I've been waiting on. Get it out of his hands before he gets plucked. That's a big screen. Into, into Dr. J. Give me a give me a showtime. No showtime, that's fine. Dan Issel is on triple double watch. And it's not just a normal triple double. Y'all realize how many points he has? So I patience. I love the patience. Come here. It's a dot. Into JB for an easy slam. Yes, sir. Get him out of here. Dan Issel. He is incredible. In those two unlimited games, we played about 10, 11 minutes of unlimited. And I can tell you that Dan Issel is very, very solid in this game. The one thing about it is, is he better than Blake Griffin? No. Is he better, you know, than a Wayne Embry? It's a matter of opinion because Wayne's just that little bit better on defense. Dan Issel is still more than usable. If you have some extra pink diamonds and want to have some fun with the card, you can definitely lock him in in the, in the exchange. If you don't have those extra Richard Jeffersons, those extra Allen Iversons, stuff like that, Definitely do not lock in for Dan Issel. He's very solid, but the, the, the price you're going to have to pay is definitely there. So I personally would not lock in Dan Issel, but he is very, very solid in NBA 2K21. That is going to wrap it up for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.